Hey guys, the Mobile Gamer here, and today we'll be working in Brave Frontier, and we are going to be doing a little segment on Magris and the Magris Grand Cry. Already messed it up. Already messed it up. The Grand Gaia Chronicles Dungeon. I think I said that right. <laughs> um, for first feedback, um, it was not as tough as I thought it would be. I mean, you would think that Magris would be a tower, and you would have huge defense and huge health and huge attack, but, um... He was actually surprisingly easy throughout the entire thing. I only used two gems. I used one gem in the middle section and one gem in the final section. I wouldn't have had to use a f uh, gem in the final section if I had like if I'd brought Dilma or someone like that along because in the final section as the final boss, Magris boosts his health and he has damage mitigation whenever his health gets pretty low, so it's just extremely tough to do any damage to him. But whenever I fully revived my team, I got a few good criticals on him and I just destroyed him. So, uh, in the background, you'll see the first level, the easiest level, and... I think it's probably past it by now, but you see that I put the Black Lance on my Darvin shell, and it's as good as Dan Delga, except it's a lot better for Dar like for Darvin shell, because Darvin shell is more about defense because he's the only one in like in the situation that you can't guard because you have to use his damage mitigation buff, so that's good. So let's see, yeah. The first dungeon is pretty easy. It starts off with um, the two-star form of Magris, which is a pretty easy fight. It then goes into... I forget now. and I just did it. I just did it. I'm, do I'm recording this after I recorded the video. After that, it's... Oh, it's Falma and uh, Grapple. Those two... I can, I can predict that they will be in the, the Atro one, too, because apparently Gumi just loves that pair. And finally, you have Magris and Themis. Um, let's see. Themis wasn't really necessary for the last battle, I don't think. Um, she, she was there to be kind of like, um, I think it's Azura, Azura? Or no, it's Lucina, that's it. Lucina in the Selene dungeon to add that um, strong attack because um, it's suspected that people will go in with a mono light team and just destroy. So Themis is there to add that dark attack. But the third battle is also rather easy. Um, you could easily, very easily one-shot it with a critical team. A good critical team would do the trick. And the second dungeon... Let me think. second dungeon starts out... Oh my gosh, the second dungeon's crazy. It starts out with five Red Shadow Aboros, and they're pretty... Pretty tough to beat. I forget what the second battle is, but... Oh wait, no. It's Dark Toons Eric, the three-star version of Magris, I think and Bavel, the four-star version of Bavel. And the final battle is the three-star version of Kikuri, and the most I can say is just guard units that have low health or bring a damage mitigator along. And those two are generally pretty easy. The third dungeon, it starts off with four dark characters. I forget who it all was. I know one was Six Star Logan, and one was, um, one was the free, like, the dark sorceress girl that you see in, um, in Quest. Like, I don't know. She's attack BB fodder for me. But, um... It's four dark characters, and it's generally a pretty tough battle. Um, each character has their own buffs and debuffs, and I don't know which order to take them down in. I just went with what order the game auto-chose, and it was pretty easy for me. 
the second battle was Magris and Themis again, I'm pretty sure. And it's pretty much the same as the first uh, as the first kind, like the first run. But they're extremely more buffed than the first level. And the final battle, of course, is Six Star Magris. And he has... He's generally very easy to take down. I took along a Maxwell, and I got a critical on him, and that took him down, like, past 75% health just with that Maxwell. And with the rest of my team, I got him down past 50% in the first turn. And he wasn't really a problem because I had Magris with me. Or no, I didn't have Magris with me. I had Darwin Shell with me, he, so he wasn't that much of a problem with his AoEs. The big problem was that he has a bunch of uh, pretty powerful single target hits after his AoEs, and that might um, that might bring a few of your people down. Finally, the last piece of advice that I can give to you is to bring along a damage mitigator. I would not advise taking... I would not advise taking Zephyr, just because um, Themis is a light attack and um, Dilma is better for survival. So bring a 6 star Dilma if you have one, if not, maybe a Zephyr, but definitely not a defense ignore leader because that's just, it's too much to use because you only get two leaders and you need some good choices with those leaders. So, bring along a Dilma, bring along a Darwin Shell, bring your best healer. I brought my tree along, uh, my first tree, not my second tree. I still have yet to Sphere Frog the second tree, but I will. And other than that, uh, good luck. The Black Lance Sphere is pretty good, I must say. It's 30% um, boost to health and defense. Uh, gain BB Gauge on attack, and I think it's when you're attacked you gain some health back, so that's great. I'm using it on my Darwin Shell, and I'm going to use it f on Darwin Shell for Maxwell Trial. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have good luck in this. It is a pretty tough dungeon, so expect to be spending gems, and be lenient, um, be patient, and um, best of all, uh, don't be careless. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm the Mobile Gamer. And good luck.